I'm here at Strata and Hadoop World San Jose with Kyoto Tamura of Treasure Data. So Kyoto, uh, what are some of the pressing data issues that you're seeing in the market today? Yeah, and that that's an easy one. Uh, giving access to the people who actually need data and can get insights out of data. It's always a big challenge. Okay, so what are some of the difficult things about finding value in the data that you have? Yeah, so one of them is even actually getting the data in the first place, right? Mm -hmm. I used to be a data scientist myself working in finance. The term is a quantitative analyst. A lot of times I spend my day looking for the right data. Mm -hmm. And once you have the right data, ensuring that the, the data that you have is actually good and up to date is always a big challenge. Okay, so um, what would you suggest to somebody who's struggling with maintaining a data ecosystem? Once, the first step is to make sure that you have a very solid data pipeline. Mm -hmm. Some people decide to build it themselves when they have engineering talent and time, and some people come to services like us to delegate that task of ensuring that they have a robust uh, data pipeline so that their data scientists and analysts can spend the bulk of their time not fiddling with data and like do, do, do the data wrangling, mm -hmm. but actually analyzing and building models on top of the data. Yeah, so it sounds like data wrangling is, is an issue that people come across when they're working on their data pipelines. Are there any other issues that you've seen your customers experience that yeah. you guys have, have worked with? Yeah, so again, I'm, I'm going back to my own experience as well as what I hear from the customers is that a lot of times data scientists work on their models and prototype stuff, but when they're about to go and build a product, there's a gap between what worked on their laptop and what works at scale in a production environment. And this is a bit revealing our uh, roadmap, but we want that's the aspect of the data infrastructure that we want to focus this year, is to help these people operationalize the work that they already do. Interesting. Um, so are there any, it would be great to hear about some of the interesting use cases sure. that you have, you know, experienced. Yeah, so Wish.com mm -hmm. is one of our early customers, and today they're the world's largest mobile shopping mall. But when they started with us a couple of years ago, they were just a startup like us. And their CTO uh, and co-founder come from this um, uh, Hadoop veteran background, they already did this work in their previous lives, but they knew in the startup environment they didn't have the time to build this and they would rather have something that already works in place so that they can do very, very advanced A-B testing and predictive analytics on top of it. And today they're really happy we sort of like grew together and it's, 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 it's really a joy to see like their usage go like up and right over the last like 20 some months. and to know that we were there with them throughout their growth. Excellent, well, that was really interesting and thank you for sharing your stories. Thanks, it was my pleasure to be here. Great.